Hello everybody, it's iTomalk217. Welcome to a LEGO Scooby-Doo uh, set unboxing and review, I guess. We're looking at the LEGO Scooby-Doo Haunted Hollywood Original Movie uh, Limited Edition Gift Set. Uh, this released on March 27th of 2016, contains a special Scooby-Doo minifigure, and unfortunately I'm only able to tell you guys how much I paid, which was 14 bucks Canadian. I don't know USD or anything of that sort, so apologies. But yeah, it's a little box set that comes with the DVD that normally has, uh, okay, it says right here, 75 minute runtime, and uh, again, a minifigure. So let's crack this open and see what's inside. Alright, taking our handy dandy X-Acto knife, we just cut through here to get rid of the shrink wrap that is on here. Being very careful about it too, as to not damage the box. There we go. Rip all of this off. Oh, there goes the special edition sticker. Alright. Flipping open the flap, we can see right here, there's the movie. Pretty similar to the box. Cool. Minus the minifigure thing on the side, of course. And you have this little thing right here that should have... Nice! The poly bag. It's all folded up, but get easily unfolded. That's actually a small poly bag of Scooby-Doo. Okay, well, before we get into that, we will uh, quickly open this DVD so you guys can see what's inside. So cutting the shrink wrap off of the DVD and removing that. Alright. Uh, as to be expected, you have advertisements for the LEGO Scooby-Doo sets. And a 30% off admission for Legoland. <laughs> if anybody wants to try using that code, feel free, even though it's most likely really expired. But yeah, that's all that's in the DVD. Let's open up the poly bag and have a look at the figure. Alright, really quickly here, we got the Scooby-Doo poly bag, set number 30601. Contains two pieces to make up Scooby-Doo. And nostalgic packaging. Anyway, let's have a look at the figure. Alright, here is the Scooby-Doo minifigure. If I'm being honest, the only thing that's exclusive to this figure is the facial print on Scooby-Doo's head. The body is used in quite a lot of the Scooby-Doo sets, uh, but it is nice. You got the smiling on the one side and then a tongue sticking out on the other. You can pose the head full 360 degrees, and it's just connected via a pole attachment, essentially. So that's pretty cool. It does have a stud on the back if you want to build a jetpack for him or something like that. One thing I am surprised by is the feet connections don't make it look obvious that he can connect to the studs, but once you do try to, he fits on there flawlessly. Like, wow, that's pretty cool. Anyway, nothing really much else to say about this figure, so I guess we'll just move on to my final thoughts. Overall, I think it's always great to get uh, LEGO movies that come with an exclusive minifigure, regardless how my miniature the differences are of making the figure exclusive. If you don't have a Scooby-Doo minifigure and you want one, this is probably the poly bag to pick up. It might be a little bit on the more expensive side if you're just picking up the poly bag in a sealed condition, but if you can find this movie off of Amazon, it might be cheaper, or in your local uh, Sunrise Records. This is where I picked it up in Canada. So there might be a few locations that still have this as of the time of this recording, so definitely check it out. You get a fun hour and a somewhat movie to, to watch with your Scooby-Doo minifigure. Anyway, those are more or less my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this review, hit that like button, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you all in a future video. Till then, see you later.